Today we're gonna to be looking at a smoke machine. It's a little smoke machine for diagnosing leaks on like intake systems and induction systems and evap systems. Uh, this is the brand right here, Hyper Smoke. Comes in this little box. I already used it just to learn how to use it. And it is pretty simple to use. Everything comes in here, instructions and everything. I'll show you the instructions here. You can even, there's probably a video right here. Well, I haven't scanned it, but you guys can scan it and see if there's a video of it. But here's pretty much, pretty much it. All the stuff that comes with it. There's the little machine, adapters. Here's the steps on how to use it. You fill it with fluid, it's got a dipstick. And then you hook it up to a 12 volt source, could be a battery or something that has 12 volts. And then how to check exhaust leaks and for intake and vacuum leaks. Here it is, if you guys wanna read it, pause it and read it, there it is. And above leak guide, it shows you kinda how it works on a car fuel tank, engine, and the lines going to the engine. Here it is. And refund, if you don't like it, it says one minute refund. So, yeah. There's also a letter in here. I probably will read it, but you guys can if you want to. Probably from the uh, owner of the company, probably. Here you go. Just can pause and read it. It also came with this right here. Outer line pro. Kind of nice. Kind of nice uh, gesture of them. It's in a uh, thank you note and everything. So, yeah. That's a nice little note right here. And then we're gonna move on to the machine. So here's the attachment hose. It's got a little O-ring right there to seal up against the machine. An adapter on this side. Does it come off? Yeah, yes it does. You just take it off and then you can replace it with different attachment if you have a different one. We're gonna get the machine out of here. Here's the Cable, cable looks pretty long. I'm gonna just do it so I can hook it up. Yeah, cable looks pretty long. And it also has a chain with a hook so you can hook it up on the engine bay. Just hook it up, let it hang. We have a cone as an adapter. I'm guessing you set this in here to create a good seal between there and then put it on your intake side and then clamp it down and that should hopefully seal it up and you can check for leaks what else do we have in here we have the smoke or the smoke fluid the oil and we have like a little baster right here so you can suck it out if you overfill it dipstick right there and here we have the other attachments. We have gas cap adapter and all of that stuff. The uh, gas cap adapter is, is, is reusable, I guess. Even though they got glue, I'm not sure on that, I guess. I guess if you don't mess up the glue, once you take this off, it might be reusable. But it's got one, two. I'm just gonna peel it a little bit just to feel it. Yeah, I feel it might be reusable, I guess. Or I think this is the reusable one. And you just buy new, new of these. Yeah, see? You just can't buy more disc. And basically you put this on your gas cap or take the gas cap off 
glue it on there that's going to create a seal and then stick this in here and then you can smoke the uh, fuel tank and check for leaks here's the uh, what's it called what do they call it for the cars that don't have a fuel cap you put that in there i'll show you guys in a little bit how you use it Capless fuel tanks, I guess. I don't even know what they call that. They call that thing. Let me see what it's called. Yeah, for the ones with the fuel flap on them, you use this thing. You just open the, push it in, and stick this in there. So for the machine, here we have it. Normal mode, I believe that's just the. Uh, I believe that's just air, but uh, we'll double check here in a second. And then EVAP, that's gonna smoke the system. Zero to one PSI, which is pretty good. You don't want a lot of pressure in there. Noise either in use, it's normal. Smoke fluid, check the lower before use. Handle with care. Probably gets hot from burning the, that oil. So what we're gonna do, let me grab the Let's check the oil level. We want to take this out. Just unscrew it. Comes out, as you can see, this is plastic. Oil level needs to be within right here. If it's like in the middle, you're fine, or up here. It says do not overfill it, so we're gonna just stick it down here. And then see. So our fluid level is like right on the low side. Yeah, it's on the low side. So we're gonna just add a little bit. And I say do not add, run the machine dry and check it every time. And I can see why it could burn up the little machine if it doesn't have any oil in it. So here's gonna use one of these. And right there it says do not overfill. So we're just gonna fill it up slowly and then I'm gonna check the fluid level again. So up here now, I went up a little bit. So I'm just gonna add some more and set the uh, fluid level all the way. As high as I can. There you go. Let's check it again. Kind of hard to see. Let me clean that off. It's all the way up here. Right there. Kind of hard to see, but it's like right here. So I'm just gonna leave it right, right there. And in case you overfill it, you can use this to suck it out. It comes in this little bag and more fluid in here. I still got a little more in this little bag, so I'm just gonna put it on the side. I think it would have been better if they would have sent on like a little bottle full of uh, fluid, they, a clear bottle that you can see through it. But uh, I'm guessing you can buy like a clear bottle or something like that later down the road. So we're just going to screw this in. Okay, we got on there. Then I'm just going to hook it up to a battery so we can turn it on. Okay, we have it on e -bat. Let's just go to normal and see what it does. Okay, on normal, it's just air, like just like a thaw. Yeah, you can feel it, and you guys can hear it. You can hear the machine bugging down whenever I plug it in. 
No, no, there's a little bit of smoke right there. So in both of them, it must be a smoke in both of them. So EBAP might be used for zero to one PSI. And normal might be the full compressor pressure. As you guys can see that a little stream. So I'm gonna change it to zero to one PSI and see the difference. I don't know, looks about the same to me. Let me see if I can read the instructions and see. Oh, okay, so there are two modes right here. Normal is 0 to 7 PSI and EVAP is 0 to 1 PSI. So, yeah, I guess you can tell a little bit of the difference on the smoke because you guys can see the smoke trail up to here. And if you put it on normal, let's see now. Yeah, I guess right here, I don't know if you can guys tell it on camera. I think you can see the smoke. But it does look like it's boiling harder and faster when you put it on normal. But yeah makes a uh, pretty good smoke and then if you use your adapter over here like that like this and then you create a good seal back here so as you can see no leakage and only the smoke's coming this way and that's pretty much it on it just by touching it i haven't been running for much it probably run for a while about a minute minute and a half it's not hot yet yeah it's not hot and it's kind of nice that you can hang it and if it gets hot i guess you can just go from here and just move it to wherever you need to the only thing it doesn't have like a switch to turn it on and off you just gotta undo the cables down here and there you go the uh, smoke you can also smell it it smells really strong right now so if you can't find it you should be able to smell it and then this piece right here, I'll show you guys how to use it here in a second. Let me set you guys up. So for a cap capless system, here you go. That flapper there, you just grab it, push it in. To about right there, there you go. Then you get your smoke machine or whatever, put it around there. And let me grab the other piece. So you grab this piece, once you put that in, glue this in here and then get your little hose in there and you can smoke the system and for cars that don't have the little flapper in there that have a cap just put this on without this and that's all you do to check for leaks and that's pretty much it thanks for watching